on the my back deck in Alabama, and uh, Wayne Boggs was a, a guest of my house just prior to an air show in Georgia. And uh, he was talking about it, and I said, as soon as he told us about the Cecil Field uh, Henley Benefit Air Show, we said we're on board. And I, I started to call Buck, and I thought, you know what, I know what he's going to say, and uh, so we're here. The air show is a very, very small family, for lack of a better term. There's less than uh, probably 125 people that really do this in the United States, and Alan was a very, very dear friend of everybody that ever met him, and uh, the tragedy of... Uh, getting hurt while he was playing with his kids and we're here to help Alan. This is a family unlike a lot of things uh, across the country we are fortunate enough to be able to live our passion and it's sad when we see somebody else's passion be uh, terminated at some point but you know what in the bottom of our hearts we're hoping that he's going to really overcome this and he'll be back flying with the family one day. Most people across the country, if you put Buck Ropeman or Dan McClung or Sean Tucker's name, they would have no idea who it is because it is such a niche industry. However, the people that follow air shows know us. We're not celebrities. I, I saw one of the guys that were rescued off of one of the boats that the pirates got the other day, and they said, we're being treated like celebrities, but you know what? We're just common folk. And that's really what Buck and I are. You know, we think of ourselves not really as pilots. We're entertainers. We're out here to entertain all the people that come, particularly to the Alan Henley Benefit Show, that are giving their time and money out here. So we're a pilot second, but we're entertainers first. And we want to make all the people happy, smile, get more involved in aviation, and feel the passion that we have about it. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single-engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its detailed design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com. Red Eagle's been in existence since 1986, and when I was building my first Eagle, as I've never built a plane before, I was a first-time builder, and I said, you know, the, the planes are just too white. Everybody, there were about 200 by then, so they're just too white. They're all, I want to do something different. So I decided to reverse the colors, and we did. And then when Buck came along, we just re we keep refining the colors and the scheme, and uh, it became the Red Eagle. Unfortunately, most people think because they're red, it's a pits. And 99% uh, of the people that see it don't know what an eagle is anyway, except maybe another eagle owner. And uh, but the planes, uh, is, I've got a pits. I do. In, I have a flight school that we do instruction in the pits, and it's it's a different plane. It's a, it's a it's a different animal. Like Buck said, these planes are so well balanced. It's the it's the difference in in driving a Volkswagen and a Ferrari. It's uh, it, it's got that kind of tempo to it. The, the two-seat airplane that I fly started out as a basic Eagle fuselage. Uh, there's been some reinforcing done in it. We've left a lot of things out to lighten the airplane. The wings are modified and strengthened. Ailerons are 100% bigger in a different shape. The rudder's bigger. The elevator's been left alone, but it's still, you know, if you've flown an Eagle, the, the control harmony and the, the fun of flying the airplane is still there. Uh, the folks at Pinyan have pumped our engines up to the point where they're very reliable and very, very powerful. And, uh, it's just, I, I pity people that don't get to do something like this. It's just a hoot. Buck and I do a lot of talking in schools and churches around the country when we're at an air show, and it's, we feel very blessed to be able to do that. And one of the things we always ask kids, what makes a plane fly? Most of them are pretty smart. They talk about Bernoulli. They talk about air pressure. Some of them talk about the propeller. But we say those are all good answers, but really what makes a plane fly is money. And we all know that. And from, from our standpoint, these planes, the Talon is such a great plane, and Buck pretty much, he and I built this thing from the ground up. It was a dream that Frank Christensen had years ago, that w a project that we actually refined and completed. So we're very blessed to be able to have it. These planes will do everything you ask them to do, and that's what we love about them. But, you know, without the support of our sponsors, uh, many of them that you all support, with Dan Tarasevich and Softy Parachutes, I mean, all these people provide us with assets, engines, and money to be able to do what we do out here and have such a great time.
Welcome to the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource. Real-time, 24-7 online, audio, and video programming, where aviation has been getting updated for over a decade. Distributing over 11,000 stories, features, audio, and video programs every year, only ANN covers aviation and aerospace with this much depth, insight, and expertise. Check us out on the web at aero-news.net. One of the things we tell kids, it doesn't matter how you get to where you are, when you have a passion about something, just arrive. Go look, follow your heart to whatever you want to do. Uh, I graduated from college and went right into the military because I had to pay back some time for my education. So I became a Navy fighter pilot. And then I, after seven years, I went with the airlines. I was pretty bored flying airliners around. So I started building my own plane. And here, 22 years later, I'm still doing air shows, still having a ball. And it's, again, it's the passion that we chase. And that's what brings us all together. I was fortunate enough to meet Buck about seven or eight years ago. And we've been a team for six full seasons now. And we're just having a time of our life. We come back from every flight just with big smiles. Of course, we're critical of each other often in our debriefs. But we have the best time. And we feel very uh, blessed by uh, God to be able to do what we do. If this isn't your passion, it's not going to be any fun. But in the last couple of years, we've been to Salt Lake City. We've been to Abbotsford, British Columbia. We've been to Arlington. We've been Pinion, New York, Florida. We get to see things in, in things that, as pilots in, in both of our careers, we take things for granted that a lot of people never get the chance to do. As I think of several names, uh, I've gotten the privilege of knowing Gene Susie over the last couple of years. Gene's been doing this forever. He does it well. He does it safely. Um, Patty is a friend of mine. Sean, uh, I know I'm going to miss some names, you know, but it, it, this is an industry that you can become friends with people that are legends and get a lot from them. Uh, one of the biggest privileges I've got is my men one of my, my highest mentor is also my best friend, and that's this guy right here, and that's, that's a privilege that not very many people get to, get to go through. You know, I did solo uh, air shows for years, and I was actually getting burned out with it, and I got with Buck, and it just reinvigorated my, my life and my, my desire to want to do shows. He's taught me a lot about myself, He's taught me a lot about how to work together as a team. Our goal is just to simply convey the fun and the excitement and passion that we have in our flying. And that's what we want people to walk away with. We want them to walk away with those guys who are having fun up there, and I'd like to do that someday too.